Hello. Okay, next tutorial. This tutorial is meant to be Tiffany, or otherwise known as the Bride of Chucky. Um, it's a, <laughs> a really glamorous look. I've always wanted to do it a lot. I say glamorous, you know, it's, yeah. I've always wanted to do it. Um, I've had it requested a ton of times, but it's one of those looks where I keep doubting myself whether or not I could pull it off, that kind of thing. So I eventually thought, you know what, sod it. If enough people want to see me do it, here it is, I thought I'd do it for you guys. Um, so I'll flash on the screen now the first few people that actually requested this look, because there have been so many. But the very first person that requested it was I Love Fred 63 Yeah, I'll pop your name there. But thanks everyone that requested it, but you're the first person, so awesome, thank you. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So first things first, I'm going to need to block out my eyebrows, because Tiffany's eyebrows are drawn on like really, really, really finely, so yeah, I'm going to need to cover my own natural ones. So I'll pop a link here to a tutorial that I've done in the past to teach you guys how to block them out, just to make this video a tiny bit shorter. So yeah, so I'm going to block them out and get back to you. There we are, so I've powdered them as well, just so they're not tacky. Okay, so then I would usually do my foundation, but I'm just going to use the foundation on my eyebrows for now because I want to apply my eyeshadow and I don't want it to get fall out and ruin the foundation, so I'll do the foundation last around my eyes. But for the for that foundation, I'm going to use a Kroll and TV paint stick in 1W, so their lightest shade of actually being white because Tiffany is quite pale. But yeah, so I'm going to apply that over my eyebrows and then I can work on the eyeshadow. So then I can press some Grimace translucent powder over the top of that just to really set them in, really hide them. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to do a mixture of both films that she's in, the first two films that she's in. Um, so in Bride of Chucky, she's got a purpley pink smoky eye and in The Seed of Chucky, she's got black, proper smoky black eyes. So I'm going to amalgamate the two and use both colours. So I'm going to take a Grimace Black Cream in 101, and I'm going to use that to colour both of my eyelids just up to my crease of my eye, because then I can smoky that out of a purple eyeshadow afterwards. And I'm using a black cream just because, rather than an eyeshadow, just because I want it to look really, really, really dark, and I want the eyes to pop with the lashes, so I just think the cream will make it extra dark. So I've just gone for that shape for now, so I've just winged it up slightly at the ends, and then I'm just going to extend the colour just underneath the eye as well. Then I'm just going to take a new brush and just smoke that colour out a little bit. It doesn't have to be too perfect because I'm going to be using, as I said, a purple eyeshadow over the top of that. Okie dokie. So, just like that. <laughs> so then I'm going to take a, a Sugar Pill eyeshadow in Poison Plum from my Pro Palette. So you can get it on its own, but that colour there. And I'm going to use that fairly loosely but I want, it, I want it to be obvious that there's a hint of purple there but I don't want it to be like a block colour so I'm going to use that just on the outside edge of my of the black and just taper it out slightly just so the edge is a tiny bit of hint of purple okie dokie so quite rounded but ever so slightly higher here I just want it to look a tiny bit more angry yeah so now I've done that I can draw on the fun eyebrows so as I said before these are incredibly incredibly thin eyebrows so once over should do this so be really patient go really slowly it's a high arch but it rounds itself off and it's a very angry brow so i'm going to use that grimace black cream again and a sharp angle brush so that's the shape i've gone for so the tail of the eyebrow stops quite a bit short and the obviously there's that rounded off arch but i've made the eyebrows slightly curve downwards here just so it looks a bit more of an angry expression when I paint on the wrinkles and expression lines hopefully it will it'll add to that so then I'm just going to apply the, the TV paint stick in the 1W all over my face and my neck So before I powder everything, I'm going to do some of the <clears throat> facial expressions, the wrinkles, and just expression lines, basically. By the way, I've not coloured my ears because my wig covers that, so yeah. So I'm going to take a TV paint stick, another Crowland TV paint stick, in 9W. They're dark brown, and I'm going to use that to start tracing on these lines, because she's got a really strong nasal labial fold, like a little like a little snarl kind of. So I'm going to make the tip of her nose look a bit higher and I'm going to make the cheeks look a bit more puffier and I'm going to do this really hard, harsh ridge she has here where she's frowning. So yes, yeah, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll paint it on and I won't blend it so you can see exactly where I've gone with it. So 
So I've gone down sides of my nose around here to make the apples and cheeks really stand out. Down my nasal labial fold and I've got these ridges here to just make it look like she's frowning a bit more. So I'm just going to blend that out now. So all of this, so these go out, these go up. So I want there to be a harsh line. All of this is blended up basically. So then before I do anything else, I'm just going to set the whole thing with some Grimace Translucent Powder just so I can work on the rest of it without blending it too far. Then I'm just going to take that 9W again and a really fine brush and I'm just going to start tracing on some of the finer details that don't really need to be blended. Like if you scrunch your nose up like that, that's the expression she has. She has these extra lines here. So if I just draw on a few there, it just adds to the illusion. So then before I do anything else, I'm just going to draw the lip shape on because that's going to help me guide the rest of the face because the lips need to be slightly turned up to be like a permanent grin. So there's this incredibly sharp Cupid's bow and it, a really full bottom lip as well. And it's, as I said, it arches up ever so slightly on the corners. So it's a very, very cute little grin going on there. So <laughs> I'm going to use a Barry M number 37 black lipstick to draw this shape on. And then I'm going to go over that with an OCC lip tar just to make it look shiny. So ever so slightly grinny. <laughs> so then I'm going to take, as I said, my OCC lip tar in, it's black, but it's called Tard. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to use that, a really tiny, tiny bit of it, because this stuff, a little tiny bit of it goes a hugely long way. So yeah, I'm going to tiny bit of it and apply it all over the inside of this and then let it blend itself, because otherwise it will just ruin the lip line. <laughs> so there we are. I do love OCC lip tiles, they're amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to do a few extra little lines again, sorry, with the 9W because I don't feel like this is angry enough. So, because if I scrunch my eyebrows, I get that effect, and I think I need to add a few more extra lines in. So, then <laughs> I'm going to take uh, my sleek uh, blush palette. This is the um, 366 Pink Sprint palette gorgeous colours but I'm going to use the um, I think I'm going to use Pink Parfait I think that's that one there yeah and I'm just going to use it really lightly on the apples of my cheeks really not heavily at all just just to add a tiny bit more colour there then I can take a sleek ink part in Dominatrix their black colour and I'm going to use that to line the waterline of both my eyes to make them look extra dark For the eyelashes, I'm going to use a pair of Eldora lashes, so quite big ones because I want the eyes to look quite big, like doll-like obviously. These are in uh, D127 if that helps anyone, so I'm just going to quickly apply those. And I'm just going to use a pair of unbranded lashes that are quite sparse, just for the bottom set of lashes. They're unbranded, I just buy them in bulk, these ones, so yeah, just not overly thick ones, medium ones I'd say. But yeah, I'm going to stick them underneath. Then I'm just going to use any old mascara just to blend them into my own natural, natural lashes. Then I've got to do her fabulous beauty spot. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to take my Grimace Black Cream and I'm going to use the end of a brush that I know is not too large. I'm going to just lightly rub it in, in the cream and then I can just position it and press it down. Sorry, I've just changed it a little bit. I've just extended the eyeshadow a tiny bit higher. I've not done this eye yet. Just because with the lashes on, it just it, it needs that a little bit extra, I think, because otherwise it just there's too much of a blank space there. I'm just using the same poison plum, and I'm just extending it a tiny bit. I'm just going to apply my wig and my contact lenses, and we'll see what we've got. So there we go. So I finished the look off by applying a white dress, which I've actually I made a while ago for a different tutorial, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, I'll, I'll use it again in the future. Uh, I popped on a jacket, which is kind of a punky jacket, just to accentuate the fake boobs. Yep. <laughs> um, I popped on a little choker, a little punk choker, and of course the wig. The wig I've got, I bought off of Amazon. Um, it's just a regular blonde wig. That I've got a root line in. Yeah, just because she does, doesn't she? Um, the contact lenses are by Camel Eyes, and they are called Emerald Green, I believe, like a block green. I'll pop the link in the description bar below. They're brilliant contact lenses because she's got these really eerily bright green eyes in the film. 
So yeah, that's my Tiffany look. Um, I hope I did it okay. I know she's got a really small scrunched up face and it's difficult to translate like a doll look, a specific doll look into a makeup. So I hope I did it okay for you guys. So yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, if you like it, please make sure to, you know, the usual rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. It really does help me out. Um, but yeah, so until next time. Bye.